Hi, I'm James, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a cron jobs on your Linux web server so that you don't have to run cron manually from your Drupal installation anymore. So let's get into it. As you can see, cron hasn't been run for a while. So how do we run cron? So to get cron working um, with your installation of Drupal, you'll need access to the web server. Um, my web server is Linux, and uh, you can just run cron tab dash e on that. I'm not sure how you do it for Windows. Um, this will open up um, the cron tab file. If my web server would hurry up. Okay, so um, you can see here, you know, there's some stuff going on. Um, I've got a couple websites already configured on my web server right now. Um, so for you, you know, say your website is yourwebsite.com, what we need to do is add a line to the cron tab file. Um, you know, hopefully you have access to this cron tab file. Um, if you get an access denied message, you might want to talk to your system administrator and get permissions to do that. Um, it's also, you know, possible that you don't have this tool wget um, installed on your server, which you need in order to you can use other things too, but wget is just a good way of um, accessing that cron.php from a, a robot. Well, basically what it does is it just um, accesses that page cron.php and then gets Drupal running all the scripts it needs to to um, you know update its maintenance. So we'll add a line to this file here. Uh, first you add a zero and then you add four stars. So you know, I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty details of cron, but basically what this is saying is, you know, on the hour, the beginning of every hour, um, we want to run the following command. And so the command we'd like to run every hour is user bin wget. Wget um, is a tool that will, like I said before, visit you know a website for you. Um, usually, you know, you use it to download a website, but right now we're just using it to ping cron.php on your website so that it will do its maintenance for you. So you put dash O, and that's a capital O, that's important, and then put a dash, and then next dash Q, and then next dash T, and then one. And my web server is going slow again. All right, so um, yeah, those that's basically just how you get it to ping uh, a website, all those options after wget. Um, and now we're going to put in your website. Okay, so yeah, just uh, substitute your website.com with whatever your Drupal installation is. Um, now you're also going to want to add cron.php to the end of this as well. And when you're done that, save the file and quit. And now your cron tab is installed. Now you're going to want to be able to test this. You can either wait an hour and then check your recent log entries under administration but you know see it's working for me right now um, I'm impatient I'm gonna go back to cron tab and change this bleeding zero to a star that's gonna get cron firing every minute and then you can check to see that it worked and for your your site.com theoretically it would have but um, yeah that's how you do it Hey, well, hopefully you've got Drupal configured properly with Quran. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post on my blog, freelancedrupaldeveloper.ca slash Drupal Cronjobs. All right, have a good one. We'll see you next week.